Our first 3D shape that we have is called a cube. Cube. And what's different about 3D shapes is they are not flat like that paper that we talked about earlier. Those are 2D shapes. Now these are called 3D shapes. That means you can roll them or you can stack them. So the first one is a cube. It has six flat surfaces or six spaces and it has eight vertices. And vertices is another way to say corner. So it has six flat surfaces and eight vertices or corners. And where we might see this shape in the real world, if you look around your house, if you look around your classroom, you might find it in a dice. And dice you can roll. Are dice flat? No, you can roll the dice when you play games. So next time you play some games and roll some dice, I want you to tell one or two people what shape that is. And remember, it's called a cube. Our next 3D shape is called a sphere. Say that word with me, sphere. That means that there are no flat surfaces and there's no corners or vertices. It's a curved surface all the way around. That means if you have something, you can roll this shape. What's something that you can roll in our real day-to-day -day life? I'll give you a couple seconds to think. What's something that you can roll or maybe bounce? That's right, a ball. Think of a basketball. Can you spin that around? Can you bounce it up and down? Can you roll it down the court? Yes, that is a sphere. It's a 3D shape. Next up, we have a cylinder. And a cylinder has two flat surfaces. It has two faces. And then it has one curved surface all the way around. If you notice, the sides aren't flat. They are curved all the way around. And there are no corners in a cylinder, but there's two flat surfaces. I want you to think maybe where you've seen this shape before. Maybe in a soda can? Yes, nice job. I want you to look around your house later and I want you to see if you can find a cylinder. And I want you to point it out to the adult in your home. So our cylinder has two flat surfaces and one curved surface all the way around and no corners. This is a cylinder. Our last 3D shape that we're gonna be talking about is the cone. And with our cone, we notice that it has one point up top and it has one curved surface, just like our cylinder all the way around and one face or one flat surface. So flat surface is the same thing as a face. So if you hear someone say a 3D shape has a face, it doesn't mean it has a big old smile. It just means that's a flat surface. Think of where you might have seen a cone in real life. I'll give you a couple seconds. Oh, a good hint is in its name. We might have seen an ice cream cone in real life. That is a 3D shape. This one, sometimes it might be able to roll, although it might go in a circle, or you can put it on top of maybe a cube. This can also stand up by itself. Have you ever seen a traffic cone? A traffic cone is another great example of a cone. It even has it in the name. So a cone has one flat surface or a face, one curved surface all the way around, and one point up top. Where do you see a sphere? Which item is a sphere? That's right, it's the ball. Which item is a cylinder? Where do you see the cylinder? Nice work, it's the can. Where do you see a cube? Which item is a cube? 
cube. Yep, the Rubik's Cube is a cube. And where do you see a cone? See if you can find the cone for me. Yep, there it is. The traffic cone is our cone. Nice work. 